week where she got a job as a maid for the rich people. She, even though she cried all day, she still had to do her work because of poverty, and she didn't doesn't have the money to for um, to afford anything. There was one part when Kunyai Phuang went home and then saw her mother again, and then when she told the story about when they hugged each other, I also cried three times in a row. He was also like. He also did like uh, an, a surgery on a toad because he accidentally shut the doors and broke its legs. It's like just a random toad. And then he did surgery on it, he did amputation on it. And then so that the toad can like recover and then go back to its life. He, it was very inspiring because it's just like a toad that came out of nowhere. He told me that even if it's a toad, at least it has like a better chance of surviving now. But um, before, I've never really cared. I just like walk past by them. But now, like, I re care more to like, oh, this person really have. They would. Everyone have like a story behind them that we might not know. Like, everyone have a story, and like, I would like care for them more and maybe like give them some money, food, or give them what they need. The important thing I learned from him was staying positive and motivated. But Kunton, even when people spits on him, even when people just kicks his food and just treats him very horribly, he would say, that's fine, because I'm just going to move on with my life and don't care what people have to say about me. Also like helping people and he joined an organization called Habitat for Humanity who gets donation money and brings people together in a community to rebuild houses for people in need. So he also so he said that we were born for others which I think is really inspiring and it made me want to like help other people. Every single day when he was a kid, he, in the evening, he had the camera around his neck, walking around, taking pictures, work hard every single day to be a professional photographer. Mr. Jill Jill said that it's not the money that's making him happy, it's what he gets from the inside. Money isn't everything. It's not, you cannot buy happiness from money. So instead of using the money for herself, she decided to become an active citizen by donating money to the temples and hope that other people will be religious and also that she decided that when she retires, she wants to teach other students that about the life lessons that she learned from her experience because she wants the whole world to be a happy place for everyone. I learned that even though you have a lot, you should be able to share it to others. You don't have to share everything, just share the things you can because it will make others happy and it will make us happy. I think field work is important for people and students like us because it actually teaches us like in real life it's not just like this book it says okay like if you do this this is what will happen like if you actually do it yourself it's more like um, it feels like you learn more because like sometimes it might not work sometimes it will work and like um, you get to experience this thing and then you get to like remember it forever and you can tell people oh I did this and like like I didn't just do it in a book it's just like a different experience to like what other schools are like. Well, this school is different from other schools since you get to experience the real life experience instead of sitting in classrooms. We get to actually experience real stuff with our friends and all our friends and teachers are very supportive.